Not a single piece of technology would work without this chemical element. Meet silicon. It's used in construction, medicine, kitchenware, automobiles, hygiene, and of course, electronics. But what makes it so special? It's all because of its unique capabilities as a semiconductor. A semiconductor is any substance capable of conducting or insulating against electricity. Those qualities change depending on its circumstances. Silicon is an almost perfect semiconductor. It can switch between conductor or insulator at great speeds while maintaining its stability and therefore its reliability. This is exactly what makes it foundational for any computing device. After all, data is just a bunch of electric signals in the end. Silicon's ability to control the flow of electricity makes it perfect to serve as the basic components of a computer brain. It also happens to be one of the most abundant materials in the Earth's crust. There's no fear of running out as we mass produce electronics every year. So where can you find them in a computer? This is called a silicon wafer. You can think of it as the mat where transistors are built. Transistors are the most basic thinking part of a computer processor. It's kind of like the nerves of the computer brain. How does it get made? Simple, mine sand, a specific kind of sand, silica sand. It's made up of about 95% silicon dioxide. By adding carbon and heat, the silicon dioxide gets purified into 99% pure silicon. Next, manufacturers have to extract individual silicon crystals out of the silicon. This ensures that the silicon has no edges to mess up electronic signals. The silicon crystal is grown, then cut into individual wafers at exactly 0.775 millimeters thin. Only then can circuits be embedded into the silicon wafer. Finally, the circuits are electroplated with copper. And that's your silicon chip finished. What do you think? Could you imagine something so simple could power the most important devices in our everyday lives?